This is... Tense. Oh, I can't move. Huh? Who are you? Huh? Uh, you're a... Hunter. Great. So you're here to finish the job? Here to... Claim your prize? <laughs> God, I can't even laugh. Well, if you're gonna kill me, just get it over with. I'm not in the mood to be played with like some toy. Stop laughing at me. What's so funny? I'm sitting here in pain and you're just laughing at me. I'm not some amusement. Uh -huh. You're laughing because you think I'm going to kill you. Well, why wouldn't I think of that? You got a blade to my throat. Isn't that what you do when you plan on killing someone? Oh, you're just doing it so I don't breathe fire on you. I'm not that type of dragon, moron. Oh. If I was that type of dragon, don't you think my head would have to be full of scales? If I did that, I'd just burn my face off. I still have flesh, you know? I'm not exactly heat resistant. What kind of dragon am I? Well, technically, I'm what's called a wyvern. I don't breathe fire. I'm just really fast and have really sharp claws. And really sharp teeth. You're lowering your sword. You believe me. Good. Now why the hell did you drag me into this tent? Uh, I have places to be and... Oh god, I'm not walking anywhere. Uh, what happened? Oh, your little human friends stabbed me. That's what happened. Oh, there I was, minding my own business, getting water from the creek. And some dude saying he's going to clean my horn stabbed me in the gut. He cut across my arm and he ripped off one of my horns. No, it's not going to grow back. It's not like hair. It's gone. It's kind of hurt my pride a bit, actually. Thank you for bandaging me up, but I can, I, I can, oh, oh, you caught me. Why are you being so nice to me? You don't even know me. You just saw a traveler in trouble? Well, thanks, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, no, no, yeah, you're right. Normally it is legal to hunt demi-humans, but, uh, we're not exactly in a town, are we? So they can kind of do what they want. No laws can be pushed out here. Where was I going? Well, one of my friends decided to take on a high-level monster hunting job, and, well, he, uh, he hasn't come home. So, I went out to go search for him, seeing if maybe at the very least I could find his remains and give it to his family. Uh, some bastard followed me out of town and cornered me and left me for dead. If it hadn't have been for you, he would have succeeded. Where's my friend? God knows where. He wasn't at the place where the job said he was supposed to be. So, uh, I have worries, but 
It's not like I could do anything about it. It's... Yeah, I can fly, but it's more like gliding than flying, you know? Again, I'm not really a dragon, I'm a wyvern. There's a difference. Dragons are like our more powerful cousins. I'm more human than I am wyvern anyway. <clears throat> sure, I can have wings, but it's not like they're all that useful. What are you doing? You're checking my back? You don't need to do that. Speaking of which, where's my shirt? It's over there. I need to get out of here. Just get some fresh air. I, I don't like being contained like this. It makes me claustrophobic. You're not going to let me leave, are you? Fine, check me over. What do I do for work? Believe it or not, <laughs> I'm actually a knight. Well, sort of a knight. Um, knight in training. I'm not quite there yet, but... Uh, Barnabas says I should get there eventually. Uh, Barnabas, you know. The Royal Shield. The Undying. Immortal. None of these ringing a bell. He's a human that has slain several different dragons, other different monster folk, and has ascended up the ranks to the top of the top. And I'm being trained under him. He says because I'm a demi-human, it gives me some extra strength, but just because of that, I shouldn't rely on it. But Honestly, I find it hard not to give in to my strength sometimes. Anyway, sorry. I'm a little bit of a fanboy of Barnabas. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't heard of him, though. You're not native here. Ah, that, that would make sense. Yeah, welcome to the Empire of Rosalith. Hope you're enjoying your time here. <laughs> Our worn, torn country. What's going on here? We've been fighting with the Empire of Dunce for a while now. Our two continents were warring for control. Well, Dunce is not exactly united right now. Frostleaf is not a part of them. And there's a couple other kingdoms, like the Kingdom of Dragons, for example, is pretty... Um, I think they're an isolationist society. And the Kingdom of Frostleaf is more of a mercantile society. So Dunce just kind of absorbed all the several kingdoms around it and put it under one banner. Yeah, I find it quite interesting, but... I have no real want to go there. From what I hear, it's pretty prejudiced against um, monsters. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a type of monster man. <laughs> I think Roslith fits me much better, since we're a kingdom mostly ruled by monsters. I mean, our prince is a naga, for crying out loud. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're right. I should probably save my breath. <sighs> hmm? Y you know, I never asked. Where are you going? <laughs> what? You can't go there. Okay, okay. For, for several examples. One, the Kitsune Shrine is definitely forbidden to humans. Uh, Demi-humans can't even go there. What even makes you think a fully, a fully blooded human can get there? I think that's pretty much unique for just monster folk. Well, I don't really actually consider myself a monster folk. I mean, I'm monster-like, but I'm more of a demi-human than a demi-monster. The point is, you shouldn't go there. The Kitsune will probably, like, burn you to death or something. Or put a random curse on you. It's not worth it. Why are you trying to go there, anyway? Your family? What about them? They're sick. Is it the damn hollow flower sickness? Uh, I knew it. That damn flower. 
I can't even get near one without going berserk. Or feral, I guess. Last time I inhaled that stuff, I ripped someone's arm off with my jaws. I didn't want to, but I did it. That stuff's horrible. And if it's starting to prop back up again, then we definitely need to warn the king. We thought we eradicated that plant. And also that damn religion that formed around it, claiming that, oh, us returning back to feralness is the, is the way to go. That's our true selves. I disagree. I, I like having consciousness. I like being able to think and have thoughts. It's kind of nice, you know? Yeah. Well, since I can't find my friend, uh, I guess I can travel with you to the Kitsune Shrine. I mean, I got nothing else going on. And since you're a, well, seem to be a pretty good healer, maybe along the way, uh, you'll heal me along the way. <laughs> and I can teach you a few of my tricks, uh, being a knight in training. Yeah, I'm sure there's a few things I can teach you. Um, you ever wanted to use a wyvern sword? Oh, okay, it's like a regular sword, except, okay, let me show you too. So take a look at this, right? So same kind of hilt, kind of like a regular human sword, but the further you go up, the more it curves. And the reason why it curves is so that it can hook on things. So our swords are multi-purpose. They can also break apart and act like a whip, see? Not that I'm going to whip anything right now, I'll probably just cut everything in your tent, but you get the point. Our swords are made to be very versatile. Some can transform into a mace-like weapon. Uh, mine just happens to turn into a whip, but I've still no reason why it can also turn into a staff, or someone else could have a sword that maybe transforms into a great hammer. It's the type of metal. It reacts highly with magic. So you put a little magic in it, put your will into it, and you can morph your weapon. And your weapon still retains its physical material form without the cons of it being a magical weapon. Meaning, we can still bring it into magical places without having to worry about it being rendered useless. <clears throat> yeah, I do like the prince's new design on it. I quite enjoy it. <laughs> Alright, that's enough about science. It hurts my head. I should probably get some sleep. These wounds aren't going to heal themselves. And Traveler, it was um, nice to meet you. Uh, oh, my name. Uh, so sorry. It's Dion. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You're really nice. And um, I'll go on this suicide mission with you. <laughs> at the very least, if you die, I get to take your loot. So, yeah. Oh, don't look at me like that. You'd totally do the same thing to me. Come on. You cannot lie, you'd take the wyvern sword. See? <laughs> anyway, good night.